Hi Beetle people, welcome back to A Beetleful Life. So today's video is one that I have been so excited to make for months and it's finally here so we are going to be looking through the Egypt Station Traveler's Edition box set. So I'm going to flip the camera around and let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start here with the suitcase itself um, that all of this is stored in, um, hence the name Traveler's Edition. You can see it's decorated with a lot of Egypt Station uh, logos and artwork, which I originally thought were stickers uh, when I saw the box set picture for the first time, but it turns out they're actually part of the suitcase. Um, I think embossed is the term, I'm not sure, but I was pleased with that. So um, looking inside now, we're, I'm obviously going to explain everything in uh, a lot of detail, but we're going to start up here with the very first thing you see, which is this note. You can see I've already opened it. Um, this note is a copy, but um, I still love it anyway. It says, hey there, fellow traveler. Enjoy your, your trip from station to station. Egypt Station exists in our minds, and I hope your musical journey is a great one. Love, Paul. I really like that. And behind there is actually a little surprise. So this uh, track logo rarity, as it was described on the website, you're probably wondering what it is. It is actually a USB drive, and as soon as I saw that, I wanted to plug it in and see if there was anything on it, and it turns out, yes, there was. So there is actually some video and audio clips on here. I originally was going to show some of the video clips, but I didn't want that to turn into like a uh, copyright problem, so I decided to not do that. But um, you can see they have some clips on here of some live performances, some of which are exclusive to this box set. Um, and... Uh, I really enjoyed watching those videos too. They're really great quality and uh, that's probably honestly one of my favorite parts of the whole box set was those videos. Um, and they also have some audio right there as you can see of a couple songs. Now we're going to start um, with the co more contents of the box here. So uh, looking at the vinyl here, this is of course the original Egypt Station vinyl which is the only copy I have because I was specifically waiting for this box set to come out so I could get Egypt Station on vinyl. And next to that is Egypt Station 2, which I'll get more into in a moment. So looking at, at the original vinyl here, there's this lyric sheet inside. At this point, though, I'm not sure who would need the lyrics unless you're buying the album for the first time. But uh, you can see it's a double vinyl. So on one side is the first four songs, and on the other side of that is the next five. And then looking at the second vinyl, um, I actually showed these sides in the wrong order, but side D has the last three songs on the album. And side C has the four before that. Now, looking at Egypt Station 2, so what is on here is two new songs, Frank Sinatra's Party and 62nd Street, as well as the full-length version of Who Cares and the live performance audio from when Paul was doing his secret gigs when he was promoting Egypt Station. And you can see the vinyl here is a nice blue color. That's a nice change up from the uh, plain black of the other ones. I have heard these new songs already, so I'll probably make a video on that at some point. So here are the uh, copies of the Egypt Station paintings that inspired the album cover. Again, the facsimile signature on the bottom. Um, I do plan to frame these. So underneath those things was a copy of the Egypt Station CD. We're still on the first layer, by the way. Uh, Egypt Station CD, of which I already have two copies, so I'm not exactly sure what I'll do with that copy. But next to that is the cassette of Egypt Station. I do have a uh, means of playing a cassette. Uh, in my record player is actually a cassette player and a CD player as well. So it's a combination of a lot of things. You can see here, um, this is a nice blue color and has side A and B. I'm excited to play this because it's been quite a while since I played a cassette. So next up is this journal here, decorated of course with the track logo and some Egypt Station stamps. Now inside this journal, uh, some of the pages are your traditional blank journal pages, but some of them feature these uh, lyrics, uh, handwritten by Paul, of course another facsimile, handwritten by Paul. So we're starting here with Who Cares, and uh, next up is Confidant. After that is People Want Peace. After that is Come On To Me. Um, these are printed lyrics with Paul's notes on the side. 
instrumental notes, uh, vocal notes, etc. Then lastly, we have Frank Sinatra's Party. Apparently a working title for that was Reggae Moon, as you can see right there. So next up, that is everything that is on the top layer. So we're going to peel this layer back quite literally, and uh, you can see it pops out there. And we're going to take a look at layer number two. So this again has um, more treasures in it. We're going to look at the Egypt Station Jigsaw Puzzle first. So this has over 500 pieces. I do plan to frame this once I put it together. Uh, there is a way to seal uh, finished puzzles as well. Uh, the picture that the puzzle is, is that picture of Paul in the studio there. I'll probably do a time lapse sort of video of me putting the puzzle together. Next up, we're going to take a look at the Egypt Station stickers and postcards that are included. I'll lay them all out so you can see them here. I really like the pictures on here. I, re I really love uh, pictures of Paul in the studio. And the stickers as well. And next up, we're going to look at the Egypt Station playing cards that are included. You can see so much details put into all this stuff. Now on the, um, I don't know, I'm not sure if you call it the front or the back, but the face of the card, I guess, is your traditional uh, playing card design and then an Egypt Station uh, inspired design on the back. Now next up, we're going to look at this map here. Um, this is an Egypt Station map. I'm going to open it up, obviously, so you could see the entire thing. I'd planned to frame this originally, but it's very huge, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, here you could see it. It is a literally a um, map of Egypt Station itself. You remember when Paul created the album, he went, made it like a uh, fictional sort of literal station. Um, with each song being a destination, and you could see on this map, um, this is, that concept is playing out here. So next, we're getting into our travel memorabilia section of the box set. We are here on Sea Link Airlines. So opening this up, the first thing you see here is our uh, passenger ticket. And if you look closely on this, you're going to see a lot of um, a lot of Easter eggs, if you will, in regards to the album. You can see our endorsements, casual conversation, and matching teeth. And the name of passenger is my confidant. The uh, date of issue there, September 7th, 2018, of course, being the day that the album was released. And over here, a pocket full of coins from the song Happy With You being our form of payment. I'm sure, sure there's a lot more um, Easter eggs and details that I didn't even catch yet. I'll, I'll obviously be looking at that again. Um, articles to be carried free here. Again, some more Easter eggs. Uh, a rusty old wheel from the song Who Cares and an umbrella, which is likely from the music video for Who Cares. A set of matching teeth from Caesar Rock. In this section here, you put your favorite songs from the album and your reasoning. Um, I It's very hard for me to pick some favorites from this album. I just love it all, but I'll have to try to pick some so I can fill this out. You can see our airplane here, Sealink Airlines. And this section, or this part here, should I say, is our travel itinerary. So this is, um, in Paul's words, his inspiration behind every song, or should I say every destination, on Egypt Station. Some of these paragraphs I have seen before. Um, I'm, I haven't read all of them yet, but I know some of them look familiar, and that's because they came from the Freshen Up Tour program, but that's all right. I did make a video on that, by the way. It's my most recent. Um, next up, we have these luggage tickets here, or luggage tags, should I say. You can see the Despite Repeated Warnings ship on that one. Um, now, I'm going to flip one of these around, and you'll be able to see the number of the, number of the case. So um, I have number 853 out of 3,000. It's really cool that I was able to get a low number like that. Um, it just shows you I, how excited I was to order it. I jumped right on it. 
and of course our uh, Traveler's Edition copyright sticker on there. And you can see the top layer just uh, pops right back in. Now we're closing that up. We're going to take one final look at the um, decorations on the outside. And I'm going to give you um, a, a clip. That's the word I was looking for. A clip of everything um, laid out here. I'm really happy with everything in this suitcase. And I'm really glad I purchased it. It's really cool to have something exclusive like this. Um, and I can't wait to obviously listen to the music and uh, put the puzzle together as well. I really like the note from Paul in there too, and I'm very happy. All right, Beetle people, that is all for today's video. Be sure to uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this. And as always, I'll leave my blog and social media in the description. And as always, have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye-bye.